My name is Suzanne McKenna. I'm the Director of Therapy at HealthSouth Rehabilitation Hospital in Littleton, Colorado. I think one of the best things about HealthSouth is the commitment to technology and advancement that this corporation has. We have a technology committee. They really look for what's new, what's upcoming. It's hard to keep up with the amount of technology and how quickly things change. So I feel like HealthSouth is positioned perfectly to be able to investigate those technologies and then really put the, the best ones into the field. I've been a therapist for a very long time. When I started my career, the technology was, you know, a bike and a treadmill. Um, now we have things every day that are different, things that are accessible to people at home, online games, computers. People can order things from Amazon. Um, there's just so much more availability and then the high tech things that we can use here in the clinic robotics and electrical stimulation that just aren't really available at home, but the toys that we get to play with here in the clinic are just absolutely phenomenal. So technology in a rehab setting is really twofold. We don't ever want to rely on the piece of technology as the end-all be-all of rehabilitation. The technology is a tool in the toolbox that our therapists use to help improve patients' function, and that's really what therapy and rehabilitation are all about. Can we use technology to enhance their balance? Can we use technology to make sure that they can stand for longer periods of time, that their hand can reach so that they can pet the dog and um, pick up the dog bowl? But if the therapists don't have the other skills that they need, and the technology is just a piece of equipment. The important piece for people that are recovering or surviving from stroke is to look at things that are easily accessible at home. There are video games that people can use, there are applications on the computer or their phone. Um, the big things really are going to focus on their cognition and memory and problem solving. Those are really easy games. Um, playing card games with their kids can really be functional at home. You know, ways that people set up their kitchen, there are a lot of things from home improvements and thermometers and refrigerators that talk to you and security systems that operate everything remotely and so that's an easy way for people to still be able to live in their home um, and use technology that's outside of what we would do here in the clinic. You know, I think the big things that are coming out again are a lot for um, paralysis, both for stroke and spinal cord injury. I think um, more robotics and more um, what we call exoskeletons and things that work kind of outside of the body. Um, there's discussion and research going on to implantable electrical devices to help with nerve loss and nerve damage from stroke. Um, you know, I think that's, that's several years down the road, but the technology is um, being developed that people could have an implantable device instead of something that they have to wear externally. Because we are a large corporation, HealthSouth works with the Joint Commission to be certified in stroke rehabilitation. We're one step ahead of other facilities that have not pursued that kind of a certification. Uh, so we're constantly looking for the next best thing, things that are applicable to patients' function and patients' life, um, and things that they can use kind of ongoing. I think when, when stroke patients are looking for resources, I think um, obviously things like the National Stroke Association are a phenomenal place to start. Their physicians um, and then their community of people that have also had a stroke, I think that's where um, word of mouth is really one of the best um, resources that people have when they're going through such a life change. Um, I think the thing is not to be afraid to try something new and to be their own best advocate. They cannot wait for somebody to show them something that they can do. They have to really be proactive to search things out and to not let people tell them no. The healthcare system is hard to navigate and so people have to have an advocate with them or to be really persistent and to be their own best advocate.